I was coming into work today and using the tube and I noticed the people jostling and pushing and shoving. It's like a sea of human faces, nudging and bumping and crushing. Sometimes it surprises me that people don't end up pushed onto the platform, off the platform onto the, onto the rails there. I often wonder, has it always been this way? Has it always been such a push and a crush and a shove to get to work? Sometimes you find yourself walking down a corridor and someone coming the other way. You open the door for them. They barge through like there's no tomorrow, that their presence is important, that they're the only person on the platform, the only person in that corridor. And you say to them, thank you very much, as if you suggest that they might want to say thank you very much. And they shoot you a glance as if to say you've said something incredibly insulting. However, all you're doing is making note of the fact that you've given them a courtesy. They've treated you like a lackey or somebody who's their inferior. Now, is this the way to go ahead and run a society, I ask myself? Do you feel sometimes that you're unappreciated? Do you feel sometimes that people are rushing about, shouting and bawling to try and get things done, try and get their way, when there might be a better way, a more collective way of doing things to achieve things that, so that we all benefit? I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you have a view that's interesting that our listeners can absorb and think about. Give me a call. Usual number. You know where I am. I just thought I'd ring you with regard to something that's been on my mind for some time now. Most people seem to be a bit weary about being respectful as though being showing good manners is somehow being oppressed, right? Now, from my point of view, right, courtesy as courage, good manners, self-restraint as self-control, self-discipline is a choice you make that elevates you above those people who kind of like run around lost to control, out of control, without any sort of knowledge about the impact of their behaviour on others and that it comes back negatively on us all. So are you saying you've come to a conclusion there's a better way? Yes, if you're in the right, stay calm. If you've got the courage of your convictions, be polite, be restrained, but be steadfast, be courageous. So courtesy is courage. That's what I think. So good manners, rather than being a sign of oppression, it's a sign of freedom. You're free to be able to converse and interact with anybody on equal terms and your behaviour cannot be used against you to weaken your standpoint that you're taking. So what you're saying is a, a calm demeanour and a quiet disposition and a, an adherence to good manners can achieve more than sort of an aggressive approach? So, yes, shouting at people, swearing at people gets, gets you noticed, but it doesn't create change, it doesn't create positivity, and it does not achieve anything in the long term. If you're going to have a long-term crusade to improve things, no matter how small the battle might be, the only way to improve things is to win that battle. And you cannot do it if the whole of society turns on you and gives you no recourse to carry on speaking. Deep and thought-provoking words there from Ron. <clears throat> it's true that in modern society, those people who shout loudest often get listened to. But often that's a short-term thing that's a, like a nine-day wonder. But long-term change is often achieved by people who are steadfast, polite, have a purpose, and stick to that purpose, and then things can change in a positive way. I think that's, those are good words from you, Ron. Thank you for phoning in.